And he nutmegs the keeper, and that's a goal. We get one back. Hey guys, RC here. This is episode 58, the final three episodes of Football Manager 20 on the channel. Uh, we are back for the uh, FA Cup fourth round against Tottenham. I did come back early. Uh, and we're going to play Tottenham and Chelsea today, and then we'll finish the transfer window and look at all that. Taking a look at the matches since we left off, uh, we lost 2-1 to Southampton. Ids broke his goalless streak and got on the score sheet. Calvin Phillips stuck a dagger in my heart with the winner in the 86th minute. And then we had a 6-0 victory over Bournemouth. Ids, finally, after figuring out how to score goals again, responds with a hat trick. Mitchell, Nunez, and Henderson with goals, as well as we coasted in that one. And we are still sitting seventh in the table. Tottenham's gotten in front of us by three points, but and we are two points up on Newcastle. I would really like to stay with Tottenham here and build up some room there. It's nice having the goal differential. Uh, but anyway, thought the FA Cup would be an interesting diversion. So we are going to get into it. Let's get to team selection. Uh, match preview. We are without Craig Mitchell, who is suspended for, I believe it's yellow card accumulation, and Marinov still nursing that back fracture from uh, mid-December. He's out for at least a few more weeks. They're without Davison Sanchez with a broken leg. Guessing that's going to keep him out the rest of the, uh, well, I don't know when it happened, but, you know, that's usually a season-long injury, right? So we're at home. So I am going to go here. Uh, I'm going to start Nomov. I have promised him more playing time. Uh, he pitched a fit. Jack Clark pitched a fit as well. And since La Quintana is going to stick around, I went ahead and put Collins on the trade block. So uh, we do have a bid of 13 and a quarter million from Celtic. Uh, that's about half his value, but, you know, is what it is trying to get rid of him. Uh, we got him on a free, so it would be a nice profit, I suppose. I'm going to bring Wharton on there. Let's give Wharton a start today. Carraro's going to be in because we have a, deep, a defensive mid there. La Quintana. We're already going with Oajan with... Uh, Mitchell being suspended. Yeah, that's fine. Ids and Nunez up top. They've got a good partnership finally developed. Defense looks pretty motivated today. So that's good. All right, Tottenham picks up the first highlight. Some good movement there. Stolen away by Uajan. He's into the box, goes into the goal, and it's knocked away by the keeper. A little unlucky we didn't have anybody sitting there back post. That's too bad. Fisher, I think, should have been there. All right, that's headed out. Carraro controls it. Wharton, and nothing happens. Well, that's fine. Let's get creative again. We're looking positive. I'm happy with that. 91% passing. You know, I am going to drop. I'm going to raise this to balanced. Let's demand more. A little bit of pressure. Gomez. Oh, good steal by Oajan. Nunez is there. Fisher beats his man. And he goes back post, beats the keeper. Fisher with the seventh of the season, and we take a 1-0 lead over Tottenham. I don't know how strong a side they're playing. I, I haven't paid any attention to their normal starting. Oh, stolen away. Henderson finds Nunez. He's on the attack, and he sends it wide of the mark. Good effort, mainly by the midfield. But that was a pretty dominant first half. No yellow cards to mess with here. So 
I think no matter how we end up the season, it's going to be another another successful season. I I don't see us getting relegated at this point. I don't even see us being in a relegation battle. So that's positive. Good stop. Big save there on target. Oh, Asta played a really good first match, so he's in our starting 11 here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull Ids off. Let's bring Collins on for him. And let's bring La Quintana on as well. Let's praise. Wharton's getting complacent. That means I'm going to pull him off. Yeah, I think I pulled the complacent off. Let's do that. Asta was getting tired, but uh, header off target. Pavlovich there. Uh, let's tighten up. I don't know what happened, but nothing good happened for Tottenham. It's a win for us. We advance in the FA Cup. So that is good. 276,000. So that is excellent. We're going to ream Jack Clark out here. All right. Well, we do play uh, in a few days against uh, Chelsea. So we'll be back for that. And did I show you guys the transfers? Oh, we did have one other player go out. Basil Zdravakov goes to Arda. For 425,000, he's a 20 year old Bulgarian, only a 35 rating for, for us, for our squad. So, uh, not really good there. We paid 105,000 to pick him up uh, last season. So, we sell him on for a good little profit for that level. And uh, then Simon, Simon Asta, he's 24 years old. We've got him out on a language course, two and a half star three-star potential, so he's got a little room for development. Let me know if you guys have seen this, because he had a higher potential from my scouts till he actually joined the club. Is that normal? I don't remember that being a thing, but I've noticed that in FM20 that, in fact, our save earlier in the year, we had a whole team of like three-star players. They were all really, really good, but they were all three stars. And I don't know if that's just because our our quality level's gotten so good. I have no idea. But uh, anyway, uh, they bought him for $9 million from Augsburg. He's been there for two years, only played a handful of games. So we pick him up on a little bit of a discount. Uh, he's valued at $16 million, so good deal for us. And, you know, he's got really good ratings. He uh, We're playing complete wing back. So there you can see the, the uh, stats for his position and coach's report. Uh, great speed, overall top speed, a natural in a few positions, physical. Um, so decent Premier League right back in the future. Maybe not an all-world all player, but I think he's going to be doing a good job. 774 in training. So, all right, well, we'll be back for Chelsea and the uh, transfer wrap-up here in just a second. So we're playing Chelsea today. We are on the last day of the transfer window. We've made one more deal. Jack Clark takes off to Celtic for $13.25 million. Uh, the $74 million in transfer revenue is a club record, naturally, uh, as is the $71 million spent. Uh, we currently have quite a bit, uh, $20.8 million left in the budget. But and uh, about 10 million left on payroll. I'm not going to spend any more of that. I don't think we need anybody. Haven't seen anybody my scouts have presented me that would be upgrades. We do have a couple of issues. Scott Wharton is not a happy camper, uh, he wants to leave. Uh, Daniel Nomov is uh, slightly unhappy, uh, he hadn't been playing enough. We just, you know, it's just gone to the other guy. He's just played well enough. Uh, Patrick Berg wants to go out on loan, but I said, you're my first option off the bench, basically. 
you know, I need you as depth and I can't let you go. And he threw a fit about that. Uh, these guys not very not concerned about Kamara not concerned about so anyway that's going on uh, nothing else on the plus side and we do have an offer on Vitasevich for end of contract he's accepted it so he'll be joining Dynamo Dresden at the end of the season so a pretty quiet window uh, we did draw Chelsea in the fifth round of the FA Cup after beating Tottenham uh, in the match we just saw uh, so here we are on the road against Chelsea. We are underdogs. And I am going to go here. And I am going to dial that back to cautious. Uh, so Nomov in goal, Serkin, Pavlovich, Bilotti, Asta, Mitchell Henderson, Carraro again in that defensive mid spot. Fisher, Nunez, and Ids up top. That seems to be our go-to 11 now. We'll see if we can't get out to a good start here against Chelsea. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. Pretty big gap in the midfield as they're, they're packing the box with their defensive midfielders, a pair of them. That seems very similar to the system that uh, England's playing right now under Southgate. And I don't seem to get the impression uh, that wasn't good. Don't seem to get the impression that many England uh, fans are uh, big fans of that particular tactic. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's ask for some creativity. I think we're going to raise it up to balanced. Push them out. Push them out. Oh, there's some space. Not good. All right, we set up a little defensive perimeter there. Oh, he beats him. It's at the post, and Bilotti puts it up into the stands. Boy, they are looking pretty dangerous back there. All right, there's a steal by Fisher, and he, oh. he had plenty of space. He could have just chipped it out and let that other guy run onto it. There we go. Nunez on the ball. He's on a break. He's got one man in front of him. Cut it. And controls it. It's, oh my God, how did he get to, he, that keeper covered both sides of the goal. That's impossible. He dove to the left and the right and he got both of them? Come on. That's bullshit. Uh, let's encourage him here. Oh, man. I thought we had that one in the bag. All right, Henderson squares it. Carraro, the defensive midfielder, loses it. Lataro, oh, and he's wide open. Sits Nomov down, puts it in. That was an easy goal. Nobody on him. I think I'm going to raise Carraro. Let's go ahead and pull him off for coffee. We'll make an early sub there. That's a tactical move. I don't think he was playing horribly, but... All right, let's, let's show some passion, fellas. Nothing. 14 fouls. That's interesting. No yellows, though, so I guess that's a good thing. We'll ask for the creativity here in the early going. Oh, come on, boys. Perez beats our defender there. All he had to do was clear it off the line. Ah, uh, who screwed that up? It was off the post. I think Pavlovich and 
Henderson, neither one charged the ball. All they had to do was boot it out. Show some passion. Come on, fellas. Wow. Wow. We are tighter marking. I'm going to ask him to get stuck in and let's use the offsides trap. At this point, there's really not a whole lot else I can do. Pavlovich. Yep, let's get you on. Holy crap. I can only hope Frank Lampard isn't still here. I don't think he was. Last time we looked at him, wasn't he the under-18s coach for Chelsea? Which was hilarious. <laughs> There's a nice ball up. Fisher. And he nutmegs the keeper, and that's a goal. We get one back. That's good. Push forward. I think we're going to have to go up to attacking here. Demand more. There's another long ball. Ids hauls it in. Mm, nothing there. Mitchell. Tries to find space. Nunez! <coughs> How did he miss that? How did he miss that? All right, Sirkin for Uajan. He's not playing well either on that left side. What do you guys think? Oh, a foul and Fisher's going to be sent off. Second yellow. All right, so we haven't made that sub yet, so that's positive. I'm going to bring Nunez back. Let's play Nunez here. We're going to move him to a fullback defend. We're going to make him an inside forward on support and a winger. I do think we need to dial that back. Oh, boy. Keeper didn't even move. He was rooted. And I think that has confirmed to me that Nomov will not get any more playing time and he could be pissed all he wants this season. We had possession. We had more chances. There was nothing wrong with that game. Passes were a little low for us, but not horrible. Headers were down. We got dominated in the air. We didn't play bad, just Chelsea played much, much better. The worst thing is, uh, no, I can't tell them they were excellent. Far from pleased. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to go with. We stunk. Fisher suspended for one match. All right, I will come back here in just a minute. We'll close up the transfer window uh, as the end of the episode here. So I will see you guys with any last-minute news. All right, we are back. We didn't have anything happen down the stretch, so we've reached the transfer deadline. Leeds is the most active squad club with six, six players moved in or out. Liverpool dropped $164 million in the window. Uh, the big signing was Francisco Gallo from Inter Milan to Man City for $128 million. Calzo Mori, an elite center back from Leverkusen to Liverpool for $112. And Fabio Silva, a striker from Norwich to Atletico Madrid for $60 million. So tying up our loose ends, uh, Aaron Collins, we've got three offers on him. I forgot he had asked to be transferred out. Um, 
and I didn't list him for transfer until deadline day. Uh, so Yvonne, Levante came in. He will be joining them on July 1st, which will be after our season ends. So that will bring in an additional $15 million, which should put us over the $100 million mark for the season in the bank. And so we are doing well. We've adjusted our budget to have our payroll fit. So now we're a payroll of $71 million, currently spending $61 million, and a transfer budget of $32.8 million. Uh, just, you know, had nothing to spend it on, nothing that was going to improve the team uh, other than depth. So I didn't see the point of that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check our team registration Make sure everybody's in there outside of our U21s. Confirm that business. And we are done for our final season in the transfer window. Uh, let me know what you think. Was I not active enough? Did we really need to improve anywhere? I don't know that anything would have really helped us uh, going out. So $74 million in, $71 million out. Uh, pretty close. I mean, you know, we spent what we got. And I think we did some good business. Uh, Henderson was the only splurge buy, and that was because we got rid of Flynn Downs. So <laughs> I just, he pissed me off so much. I just wanted him out of here. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. So we have, I believe, three episodes left. So we'll space those uh, throughout here. We just lost to Chelsea, and we were only supposed to reach the fifth round. Don't see the point of that again, but um, I don't know. We may be back for that. I'll double-check my math because I'm not good at math. Uh, it seems most YouTubers aren't good at math, but um, we'll see how many episodes we have till the end of the season, and we'll split that up accordingly. Naturally, we will finish with Arsenal and Wolves to see where we end up the season. We'll do end-of-season awards in that as well. So just a few left, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we will talk to you next episode. Take care. Bye.